Hey everybody, I will show myself today even though I feel like garbage. Um, got a toothache or an infection in the tooth. I feel like I'm running a little bit of a fever and I got a wicked cough. But um, I wanted to paint. Um, I woke up last night like at 1.40. Didn't go back to sleep until about 5.30 this morning then went and took a nap. So now I'm up and I'm going to play with some paints. I've got some really interesting colors. I mixed neon red. I made a neon orange, neon yellow, neon green, a regular blue. It's not neon. I don't have any left. Um, I made a purple with a, oh, where, where, what is it I used? Magenta, magenta and blue. I've got black. I've got Amsterdam white, and um, I wanted to make a metallic, so I used some mica silver and mixed it with water. It looked like liquid mercury. I was so excited. I decided to add a little white to it, and then it, it I didn't like it. So I put that into the white, so it's kind of a very light gray with a slight metallic. Then I went back and did it again, and I did two little scoops of the silver mica, um, two capfuls of water, and then I added flow trawl to give me a silver. So it's not super bright. It doesn't look like the liquid mercury like it did, but um, it's still really cool. And I will probably add a clip of that liquid mercury right here. I'm really desperately wanted to show you this. That's like the water. I have to stop it because I have a really hard time cutting in the right places. So now I know that that was the first part of the video. <laughs> and so um, I've got a pretty great consistency. I've been uh, watching a lot of Tammy Anderson and she does a lot of tutorials. And so today I decided to start with water first, then add flow troll. And I've got a really nice one second mount on all of them. They're all the same. And I'm really excited about that. So it's going to be bright. I'm doing it on a black canvas. If I have any clue where they are, they're right here. Today's normally adventure day for me and the pup. She's not really happy that I'm not down on adventure. I really just, just want some chicken soup. And that's it. It's cold out, really cold out today. So this is a cheap bowl, cheap bowl. 8 by 10 black canvas from Dollar Tree. So I went ahead and got myself a couple. Um, because I'm all done with my bigger canvases. I, I hope they keep going on sale at Job Lots because they're just so great. I really like working with gallery, gallery size. So right here, 8 by 10. Doesn't have any indentations in it, so I don't have to spray the back with water, so I'm not going to. And the first painting I want to do is a flip cut. So I don't know how many I'm going to do. I've, I've got a lot of paint, so I might do some swiping later. Um, I do have some tins somewhere <laughs> that I could work with. Somewhere. A little. Maybe not. Oh, look what I just found. <gasps> small cups. That's excellent. I didn't know I had them, and they're getting so expensive, guys. Those little small Dixies are getting crazy. Let me see if I can grab it up from behind here. Oh, this is good. This is good. I know I've got a tin somewhere. I know I've got at least a two pack of tins. This is good because these, this is the size of the cups that I want. I want to go super, super thin layers of paint and make a lot of layers. I want to go through these colors two or three times in this little cup. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what I got. Let's see if I can pull this off. Let me tilt you down. I have the camera going the other way because I, I just don't know, is it me or is it Apple? Like, every time I get it in a horizontal, it still has a fuzzy background. Like, it still looks like I'm doing it in portrait mode. I, I just don't get it. Anyway, let me go ahead. So I flipped the, the camera over. Where are we? Hopefully, you'll be able to see everything as it goes down. I am super stoked about this. 
super, super stoked. Now I have no flow draw in anything. I don't want to. The last painting I did, did turn out really epic. I'm going to build two cups separately. I think we're going to need two. Let me get that painting so you can see it. Don't go away, guys. Don't run off on me. So this painting, I enjoyed so much. I did a musical painting, like I didn't speak. Um, but I really loved it. I loved painting it. And then I was like, you know, I'm going to flick some silicone. And I think it came out just right. I really like it. It's beautiful. Let me get it back where it was so I don't get any paint on it. So I made a big decision today, or actually a couple days ago. Closed my Epsi, Epsi, Epsi shop for a while. That's just what happened, okay? I closed it for a little bit. I could reopen it. Um, I'm just not working it hard enough to continue paying for it with it not producing it. I just totally get that. So I, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. So, all right. Yeah, pull this out a little bit. Hope everyone's doing well. Come here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not feeling hot at all. Come on, Kate. Why are you sticky? Well, I probably painted something on that box. That's probably why. That could be the reason. So, what I want to do is start with... I'm going to have a black base, okay? So I should probably get this up. But I want to use black in them. So, I'm just going to do a spoonful. It's probably not as thin as, like, what you might be thinking is super thin. <laughs> black. I'm going to go with the red neon now. The homemade orange neon, which came out really great. It's a very candy corn color. I like it. I like candy corn looking colors. I don't know why. They really come out nice in the paintings, too. They just look good. Yellow. Yellow. And before I move on to green, I'm going to add some of that super light gray Amsterdam white. I mean, I should probably put that in that position so I remember. Nice neon green. It's not neon, but there's so much neon going on in this painting, I don't think it's going to hurt it. It's Sergeant Art. All of it's Sergeant Art, except for um, the mica powder. Let's get this and put it in that position. And I got that purple that I made. Neon pink. Now let me put some of that silver in between the purple and the pink. Got to give it kind of a flash, a little bit of a flash. Now the pink. So now I have a cut ready for a whole other painting all at the same time. Because I'm only going to flip one onto this 
Just want to have it done, you know? Then I want to add a wee bit of this neon pink from Hobby Lobby. It's not a neon pink, it's a fluorescent pink. Not a fluorescent, what am I talking about? See? Iridescent, metallic. Got a little bit of this aquamarine that I absolutely love. Love. It's my favorite color. I'd paint my walls in my house that color if I could. And I'm gonna do a little gold. Not a lot, but a little. Then I'm going to add some more black to it. Alright. I'm going to move one aside. So that's going to be for another canvas. I'm going to let it just sit and mellow. I'm just going to give myself a little puddle. I'm not going to use it all because I might have to come back and do some stuff to it. Take this little cup and flip it. Not a bad flip. Not bad. I'm going to let it sit. Tap it out a little bit. Might poke a hole in it. I don't know if it's full enough for that, but let's try. Well, it didn't really do much. That's okay. Kind of mix it around a little. That's the cat being weird. The dog's really not happy about not going on adventures. I guess I will take her out at some point. But I just don't feel good, guys. Oh, it went a little far. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's stupid pretty right away. Okay. If I can pop some bubbles now. Oh, this is going to be a beautiful painting. So it's kind of a rainbow. Kind of. It's pretty similar to rainbow colors. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Hopefully I'm not sniffling too much. I don't think I am, but you never know. Look in there. Can you see in there? It's so I'm gonna go like Katie and I'm gonna keep my weight in the middle. Got a squirrel coming up to the bird feeder. Oh, the cat's curious. Okay. All right. I do think I need a little help. A little bit of help. What should I use for help? Black is low, so... 
Let's go with that orange because I have more in this cup than all the other cups. I'm just going to get a flow. A little flow help for me. So what are these? These are two Dollar Tree organizers for like shelves and stuff for in your cabinets. And I just, what did I, zip tie them together to give me a little bit. Because this is not level. Even though that's not perfectly level, it definitely helps. Cat is watching the squirrels eat. That's cute. Okay. The dog would be like, well, what are they thinking? You can do this. You got this. There she goes. Okay. These gloves off, hit it with some fire, and then maybe do a little wrecking. is pretty. I, I really don't think I should wreck anything. <coughs> yeah, I think I should leave that be. Let me uh, get some cups put up over there so we can let her dry over there and we can get into the next painting. Pretty sure we can do this all together. Cat, careful. No. She's like, but those squares are doing things. I'm going to bring you in for a closer look after we get done with another one. Okay? And hopefully the cat doesn't ruin everything. I don't think she will. She's been pretty good with me in here. But having a squirrel outside is kind of exciting. And I don't mind that squirrels eat my bird food. A couple of reasons. From what I understand, squirrel is delicious. And if I keep it fat, then the world goes to shit. <laughs> and it likes me because I fed it. We're doing pretty good. All right. What do I want for a base? I'm going to go back with this. Just 
putting the little puddle down. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna attempt a ring pour here. So I'm gonna attempt. I never get those perfect, but that's okay. I don't need to be perfect. I just need to create art that people love and that I love. This is pretty. Yesterday, the uh, recycle guys didn't come around. It was garbage day. And my neighbor brought all the recycled cans back up when they were full. I'm like, why? Everybody else is uh, still out there. I haven't looked at any of the Facebook groups. I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, my body hurts. Whole body hurts. Oh, look at these little cells coming around. Okay, then I'm going to decide whether or not I want to add a swipe in here. I might just leave it. I'm going to just leave it because I want to do a swipe after this. You want to you want to hang out with me for three? They're definitely going faster. They're small canvases. And I was very prepared. So let's just do that. Yeah, we're just going to tilt, swirl, have a good time. Going off. Wait, yeah, I got it. Go ahead. Almost dropped it. Big fan of the black in this. Interesting. So uh, I'm going to try pour some of it off.
going to dry pretty though. Got just enough, you can't see it, but just enough glitter in there to shine. Really, it's going to dry beautifully. And once it's epoxy, forget about it. Forget about it. Yeah, I'm just... The part that's black doesn't do much for me. That's weird. Usually like black a lot, but these kind of colors, so... Getting some chameleons, even though there's no silicone, which is great. I like them, they're pretty. Let's see if I can get that put up. close to the edge there Gates. I'm gonna be scraping this floor before we move that's for sure that part I really just don't I'm gonna keep going why should I settle right should never settle for less than what you really really want so I'm going to build a small cup and I'm gonna spin it over there I'm gonna pour it over that way I'm just gonna go with the order what I got. So next is the little silver. Pink. Is it a light gray or white? Some green. The blue. Orange. Aren't I cute? It's like, no, I don't like that. All right. All right, then. The red. So a tiny bit of gold in it. Aquamarine. Now I'm going to travel with it. Get the swirly swirlies. And I'm going to tilt her and see if I've improved the feel. I already like it more right now. So my hands are going to be messy. That's okay. Because putting the gloves on and off is a bit of a much. A bit much. I don't want to interfere too much with the other side. Kind of be interesting to have it more primary and then one more muted. Oh, this is cool.
Yeah. This is definitely more up my alley. Come on. Don't have to squish it too much, but I do want you to cover that area. Uh huh. Yeah. Way happier with that. You might not be so thrilled, but I am. I'm gonna pull some of this pink in here. And that black is much nicer this way. this area. This is good. Happy I kept going. Truly, truly am. So it's like a contrasting because over here is so pastel feeling to me. This here is much more neon, so that's gonna be beautiful. Um, I almost feel like I need to do some more of that wrecking. Just to kind of marry it a little bit, you know? So it's like holding hands because it is so contrasting, you know? Yeah, that's cool. It's gonna dry gorgeous fight. Anyway, on to the next one. That's dangerous. Okay. Really dangerous. Hold on, guys. I gotta avert danger. All right. Dangerously close to the edge I was. Should be better. So I'm not the skinniest lady in the world. I don't want to accidentally bump into it and knock it down and have to like restain the floors instead of just scraping up paint. <laughs> All right. One more. This is gonna be a swipe because you know me. I gotta have it. Gotta have a swipe. I might even do a trip stitch. Do two at the same time. What do you think, guys? Don't hold back. Let me know. Because I can let them just dry right here together, you know? Let's see if I got what it takes for this. It's not really a trip stitch, I guess, because <laughs> it's just two. It's kind of a fun idea, and I got a plenty of ink. 
Not that I, I have a problem saving it. I do like saving it. But. Let's see if I can keep that far though. Oh, yeah. Well, all right, all right, all right. We're going to use the white as our base, which has a little bit of that silver mica in it. So you could maybe see it. It's super subtle. I use spoons today for mixing. I don't usually use them. I used to really like spoons in the beginning and then I'm like, this sucks. But today I really wanted to get, I just felt like I needed it. All right. So we'll swipe with the black. Let's go ahead and get into it. Get some colors down. And we'll go in this direction. This is the neon red. I'm going to do it dirty, just like that. Orange. The yellow. Oh wait, no, I want to put gold next to the yellow. I want to kind of give it a little something, something. Now the green. And the blue. Aquamarine. That's, oh, that color is just, oh, makes me so happy. Teaspoon each side. Did I use the pink? No, I don't think I did. Alright. Gonna use the black. That's my swipe. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Some beautiful colors. 
let's do fire first and then I'll tilt. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be really nice. I'm really excited. Really, really excited about it. I do want gloves on for this though because I am a maniac. And I'm going to be drawing it right here. So then after this, I will bring you in for a closer look on all of them. I'll probably separate those closer look pieces to 30 second clips as well. Because I really like those little reels or whatever you call them on YouTube. Are they reels on YouTube or shorts? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Same difference. They're fun. I like that you can add the music and really set a mood. And it's cute. This is just gorgeous, okay. Don't go too far. There's an awful lot of you over there I want to keep. That's so pretty. Okay, I lost what I wanted to keep over here, but that's it's okay. We're going to be okay, guys. I mean, sometimes I wish I could just keep it that way, you know? I really do. But it's too much pain. So I almost did exactly the identical technique on both of these canvases, and they're so different. Which is very interesting to me. It always blows my mind. Oh, look at this thing. Stop it. I really didn't want to lose all that yellow, but I did. It's okay. That corner is neglected. There we go. Well, they are similar. They are, now that it's stretched. But they started so differently, you know? Well, no, they didn't. What am I talking about? I did almost exactly the same thing on both canvases. Let me hit it with fire. I don't want to wreck it. Nope, I don't. Pretty good on my edges. I got, yeah, I got over the canvas pretty good. That was fun, guys. Thank you so much. I don't feel any better, but I'm in a better mood. I don't like not feeling good. I get frustrated. I've been super stressed out lately, so I get why I didn't stay perfectly healthy because of the stress. But I do the oil of oregano in the mouth every day, so I'm surprised I ever get cold. Um chew fennel seeds. What else do I do? Niacin every day. Crazy. All right. Let's go ahead and get you in for a closer look, guys. It's the first one we did. The flip cup. No wrecking. Just flipping. Some really cool spots. I am looking forward to seeing dry. Look at those little eyeballs hiding in there. Yeah. So pretty. I can't wait to see this dry. Neons are fun to work with. 
We might get more cells as it keeps going. That's a shadow, I'm sorry. And here is the ring pour that I didn't like the side that was black, and I added more. And I dig it. It's kind of like a yin and yang. The side is much more mutable. The side is much more vibrant. And I have them kind of hugging with some wrecking. Oh, yeah.